DJI finally came up with a drone that's smaller than its usual offerings, departing from its flagship Phantom series. Introducing the DJI Mavic Pro that's not only small, but can also be folded to fit into your pocket. The DJI Mavic Pro weighs a total of 734 grams, which is reasonably light compared to other drones in the market. That can travel 65 km an hour with ascent and descent speeds of up to 5 meters per second and 3 meters per second respectively. It's got a GPS system built right in to track precisely where it is and to ease navigation mid-air. Now as for the camera, the DJI Mavic Pro houses a 12.3 megapixel f2.2 camera with a 78.8 degree field of view. It can take 12 megapixel stills and shoot videos in the below formats. The build quality on the DJI Mavic Pro is almost perfect. Every part of the drone felt solid, so I was surprised that it weighed less than how it felt. I've never flown a drone before and all I did before flying was read a few getting started manuals from the DJI GO 4 app. That's it. Next thing I know, I was piloting the Mavic Pro like it wasn't my first time. The remote controller for the Mavic Pro is easy to use and understand. Once you get the hang of how the navigation sticks work, you'll be flying the drone in first person view in no time. The smartphone holder can be adjusted to fit almost any smartphone without casing. Similar to other DJI products, the Mavic Pro also works with the DJI GO 4 app, available on both Android and iOS. Yes, you can fly the Mavic Pro with just a remote controller, but if you want more control over how it flies and what's being recorded, you will need the app. Live preview on the app worked great, footage was smooth with no stuttering whatsoever, except when it's out of range, obviously. But when that happens, just slide on return to home and the drone automatically flies back to its launch origin. As for footage quality, the DJI Mavic Pro takes generally good video and stills in broad daylight, but it sometimes struggles with dynamic range. If it's too bright out, some shots can be overexposed. In low light scenarios, videos tend to be very grainy and noisy. In terms of battery life, I was happy that DJI's Mavic Pro's flight time was as advertised. During my time with it, the 3830mAh Intelligent Flight Battery held up for a maximum of 28 minutes. However, it is at about the 20th minute when the low battery notification will pop up. Charging the battery from 0 to 100% took a total of 1 hour and 5 minutes. So that's about an hour's charge for 20 minutes of use, which doesn't sound that bad. But I'd still suggest getting an extra battery for prolonged flight and recording time. Compared to DJI's other offerings, the Mavic Pro's price of 4580 ringgit is backed by ease of use, DJI's aerial expertise, as well as 4K recording in a compact, foldable package. With its intuitive UI and a plethora of onboard AI, it's easy to get the Mavic Pro airborne and recording. Now that is what makes it the best affordable drone in market for now.